Right guys, this is uh, Martin from Devolved, uh, back in South End today, and this time uh, I'm exploring a bit of uh, Nazareth House, yeah, which used to be uh, an old children's home, and then later on an old person's home. It's a side entrance over there through the gates and through the other gates. And over here guys, this is the back of the chapel. This is what I really want to see. I really, really want to get inside this and see what's left, if there's anything left. It looks like some of the stained glass windows have been stripped out. Um, hopefully there's some left, I'm not sure. But we'll have to wait and see. Very interesting though. Some of the building towards the back of it, this bit here, looks a little bit newer than the rest of the building. There's a lot of uh, security labels all over the place. Uh, deck security, CCTV in operation. It's a little greenhouse at the back here. And behind the wall, there is uh, a little graveyard, I think. I'll film that in a second. So this is the back of the building, the other side from the main road. We've got stairs here that lead underground to a basement floor, possibly something to do with the boiler, possibly. Have a little explore down here. I've got to be careful, the steps are very slippery. I've got green moss on them. It's another boarded up entrance to this section. And here we are, a vented window so yeah, I'm guessing possibly for the boiler. Concrete feels hollow. Yeah, it does feel hollow. I better not treading that too hard. Right guys, back up the steps. Right, let's have a look round. This one's got a little cross on it. I'm not sure what's in here. And we've got another little shed here which might open actually. Yeah, the shed opens. What have we got in here? Lots of boxes, some old pictures and stuff. Fully expecting a lot of spiders, but oh, that's nice. A little tree, some Christmas stuff, some old storage. Little cups. Little figurines. DVDs, yeah, so this is like new storage. Whoever used the property last has, um, has stored stuff in here. There's some like old plates here, they're quite nice. Look at these. That's that one. That's that one. 
very nice. That's quite cool. Anyway, so that's the little shed. Put it back as I found it. There we go, it's pretty much the Oh, nearly taught me a new one. There we go, so that's that. Alright guys, I'm going to have a look around the side. Such a massive building. I've been wanting to explore this for ages. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to access and how much I'm not. I think some of it is, uh, I think some of it's still got living residents, I think. Um, it's hard to tell. I mean, there's some lights on inside. I might just be security. Right on a timer. Hello. Meow meow. <laughs> meow meow. Where are you going? There we go. Massive. It's got these big gardens. See, these are the gates that lead out to the main road. The amount of times I've walked past here and stared through them thinking, I wonder what's behind these gates. And sure enough, Finally in the grounds. In the private grounds. Fantastic. The Nazareth House was established in 1873 in a property formerly known as Milton Hall. It provided accommodation both for the aged, poor and for invalid, sickly or incurable children from the ages of 1 to 12 years mostly those from the Roman Catholic faith. There we go. Unlike most other Nazareth houses, South End particularly catered for older boys. These included some place by the workhouse authorities who were charged 13 shillings and sixpence a week That's per child. It's a little memorial thing. loving memory of a sister. It's like little figurines, little things that mean things to people, little memories. In the 1890s a large block was erected at the south of the existing buildings. By 1920 the home also known as St Joseph's Nazareth House and as a South End school, could house up to 150 boys. There we go, look at this. We're getting closer to the bit that I really want to see. This, guys, is the old chapel. I'm not sure if we can get into it or not, but here's hoping because I really, really want to see inside this that door knocker. Big old key to get in. Here's the uh, front garden as well, I'm sure. If the summer hadn't been quite so hot, the grass wouldn't look quite so dry. There's the, uh, the front, the main lawn at the front. I'm sure that would look lovely given the right weather. So this is coming closer towards where the main entrance is. It's another fantastic statue here, guys. Check this one out on the wall. 
Look at that. Beautiful. In 1968, the home had become really mixed lovely. with places for 50 yeah, boys and 20 girls in the age range of 2 to 15 Fantastic. years of age. So that would be the gatehouse over there. Right next to the entrance off the main road. Princess Anne visited Nazareth House in 1986 to open the St. Joseph's Nursing Wing. And this is the sideway that leads round to the back where I've just come from. Huge building, guys. Nazareth House South End. This is uh, St. Joseph's Ambulance. Uh, I'm guessing where they were stationed. State of this door, seeing better days. We've got the boiler house. Sadly, these ones are padlocked, so no go. I've taken some fill, uh, still shots from in here. This is the boiler room. sideway but I'm really interested to see if I can get inside so that's the next step I'm going to just prove to you that I've gone a 360 there we go and just to prove it once more I'll put my head around the corner and you can see where I've just come from so there's the side entrance where that big building is. Now pan round. And there's the back of that garage. The back corner. And back right, round. here we go guys, we're in. Right guys, let's have a look around and see what's around here. These, this goes off. Oh blimey, that looks fantastic. Yeah, look how horror that looks. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this one's room 79. This is the office activity room. And in here, this leads out. Oh look, there's those uh, gates behind um, the side gates. And the gates behind those, where I was just outside earlier. Oh, what's that? Okay, if I haven't been locked in now. Communication, um, a little shutter there. Door releases, ironic. I mean, if this closes and I'm stuck in, I'm gonna need that. Um, Right, okay, so let's use this room. It's not an awful lot to see in here, guys. Um, I'm gonna come back and do that one afterwards because that looks like I might need my mask on. This way, room 78. And that goes into, well, it's a little ominous in here. Uh, I'd like to think food preparation area of some sort. There's a, a, seems to be a thermometer wire and a, uh, a metal kind of a chef's workbench. At least I think that's what it is. Uh, 73. This is a food preparation area. Um, this, I think, is locked. Um, oh no, it does open. Uh, Let's have a look. Wow. It's 
food preparation area. There we go. All these fridges, they're all empty. Look at this. It's quite spooky in here. Main kitchen, bits of leftover paperwork instructions. Wow. All this stuff just left. Oh, I thought it would have been a toilet, but it's not, okay. So, 2019-2020. I really don't want to lose my bearings. It's quite complicated in here. goes off somewhere else. So this comes out, I think to that corridor again. Danger, high voltage. Let's see what's in here. No, there's not much in here. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of power supply in here. Cool. What's in here? Something else. Okay. No, it doesn't open. I'll probably be quite skanky, I reckon. I reckon. So, yeah. So yeah guys, this would be the kitchen inside that building, inside Nazareth House. It's quite big. Right, so we've been there, we've been here. There's that wheelchair. I've got my mask on. It's very creepy. Well, it's not really worth going too much further. Uh, there's a lot of stuff all over the floor here. But, there we go. Have a little look in here. And then we'll make our way out of here. mask on this time definitely you can't be too careful with asbestos especially in old buildings so here we go right that's another area of it done and so that's that done okay guys that was a creepy area Here we go guys, straight from the main entrance that we've just came through. We'll step back. We can look up. And there we have it, that stained glass window. 
fantastic. Wow. Wow. That is outstanding. Look at that. Jeez. Well, right, I'm going to take a walk around. Um, we've managed to flick a switch and get power on. So that's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a little walk around here, see what I can find, see what's what. Um, I'll take some still pictures as well and uh, I'll add those into the video too. Um, incredible. So glad to be in here. Without further ado, we'll do a walk around. So here we go. As soon as we walk in on the left wall, we've got a bar light, which is kind of new, but you've got some little plinths and that that have been taken off. Another stained glass window and some lighting up here. These pillars. Look at that architecture. That is lovely. Here we go, there's another door. Some beastly cobwebs here. Ropes of them. There we go. We'll turn around. So now we're against the left wall. Looking straight ahead. And as we look up, you can see these roof lights. Stained glass windows on the side. Actually, yeah, they are stained glass. And look at that, the way that the ceiling's braced. Fantastic. So, here we go, guys. I'm really excited that we're actually in here. I say we, I'm really excited I'm actually in here. Um, these are uh, ornate clusters on the arch. And then we'll go through here. So now we're, we're still on the left hand side. And we're in the far left corner before we get to the altar. And now looking towards the altar. Look at that, guys. It's incredible. The attention to detail. It's amazing. All right, we'll get a little closer. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, I think there's birds or wind, something. Yeah, right, so behind the altar, I'm guessing birds have done this damage from up there. I can see some flickering from behind the boarded up section where the, uh, the other stained glass window used to be. I'm not sure what this is called, but like the backdrop behind the altar. This is all marble, guys. Proper marble. Heavy, expensive marble. And look, with the accents as well, you've got the blood red and the orange behind it as well. It's amazing. Look at that. Completely abandoned. This might be where they keep the wine and, I don't know, the little biscuits, bits of bread, circle things, whatever they're called. 
Excellent, they've got a crypt. I'll come back to that. Look at this. That is the aisle. Kind of mosaic, geosymmetrical patterns leading back out to the exit. Now if we take the right side, actually I'll stand back and get the windows again from this side. This is the right side. Fantastic. It's very grand. Even though it's in a state of needing, well it needs repair. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. There we go. Try not to shine the light directly on anything too much anyway. So, Papa Francisco. There you go, Papa Francisco. It's got glass on it, so it's really hard, like, it reflects. This massive chest of drawers. Child for crib, child cushions, ciborium veils, vessel covers. Put this down, it's heavy. Right. Finger cloth poles, corporals, purificators, lantern ashes, paschal candle nails. Various stuff. Move that back. There we go. Uh, sign equipment, hand towels, amices, sundry cloths, stole collars, collection bag, and three red lights, small bell, seven stoppers. St. Steel Bowl. Bowl. There's these slight little cupboards here. So they probably had stuff in it that was um, needed by the uh, clergymen or whatever you call them. I'm not very clued up on churches, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so guys, this is in here. <laughs> It's a typical uh, in-mirror shot. So there we go. Devolved on the on the scene. <laughs> right. And in here, there's some bigger drawers. Lantern covers, lantern covers, special feasts. Posters for special feasts, Advent, Christmas, small white cloths, tabernacle veils, gold vestment. Sounds complicated. It's like a little um, thing where they, I guess in the Bible, would want to sit. It's very hot in here. Right. Got some more here, cloths, benediction cloths, altar cloth, hummocle veils, benediction, spare albs, spare stoles, um, pool cover for coffin. God, I wonder if that's still in there. Oh, will it open? No, it's all gone. 
does smell kind of funny though. Spare cinctures. Oh, you can hear my knees. Bloody arthritis. Right. So yeah, that's this little room. These handles here that go up and open these big windows up top. Right, where are we going now? Right, so this is the uh the underground section. Wow. Well, let's see how we're gonna do this then. Chuck the switch there. Right, bear with me guys, I'm just gonna uh, put the phone down for a second and try and get in here. These, these steps are very um, steep and it kind of requires careful movement. So, here we go, I'm just about on there. Alright, let's see, are we all good? Torch is on. There we go. Wow. That's incredible. So this is under the church. Uh, this is the crypt. So, in here, the, uh, the floor is curved like this. You have like a, uh, a resting area along the sides here. So whether this was for storing wine or dead bodies and coffins, which I think is a real possibility, there's a, uh, a breather hole up here at the top. I can't really tell where it goes. I can't reach at this angle, but that's outside the window anyway. So yeah, this is uh, inside the crypt underneath the church floor. Another thing that I really didn't expect to see today, guys. So I'm doubly pleased to have got in here. I hope you enjoy this footage because uh, it's taken a lot of uh, planning and yeah. I hope you enjoy this. It's a very special one from De Evolved, brought to you by myself, Martin of De Evolved. <laughs> right, well, I'm gonna make my way back out because there's not an awful lot to see in here. But I will All right, let's get out of this one out of the crypt. Oh. Should probably try and close this up. Oh, it's heavy. That is heavy. Oh. It might not close because, yeah, it might not close because this door is still open. So maybe you have to close this door. It's like a little bit of a puzzle. Yeah, we'll close that one. Oh. Right. And now, fingers crossed, this should close. I've got a feeling it might make a massive bang. Oh no, there's like a, uh, a thing on the end of it. Right, let's see if I can do this carefully. Right, we've got these loops here. Um, I'm guessing it's supposed to be two people do this, but. Right, that's one hand on it, so fingers crossed it works one-handed. Shit, that's heavy. 
Oh, there we go, and it's down. And fingers crossed. There we go, we can walk across it. That's all good. Oh, right guys, so that was the crypt down there. Far right hand corner. Oh, what have we got here? Right, this is the, uh, oh, okay, this is the uh, confessions area. This is uh, where, uh, I guess, the priest would sit behind here. And the people with whatever on their conscience, whatever on their mind, they would come here and they would sit this side and then they'd confess whatever they've done wrong or feel that they've done wrong to the man in cloth behind the screen. So I'm guessing they walk in through this door, confess and then probably leave through this door. Does this door open? No, this door doesn't open. But we might be able to see that from the other side, guys. Right, where's this door go? Is this to the other side? This leads out of here. Oh, it's slippery. Yeah, it would lead out, so that's right. It'd lead in to one side, confess, and lead out again. And then, there we go, just in case we didn't know, that's the chapel. So there we go, that's this corner. And that is almost everything, I think. We've covered this room here. It's where they keep the cloths and other biblical bits and where the uh, the picture of that that guy is let's see him again that is Papa Francesco so I'll do some research on him and find out when he was here um, I'm guessing this is a similar room yeah this one's locked so it looks kind of the same, so I'm, I'm guessing it's probably got similar stuff behind it. And there we go. So, yeah, guys, this is inside the chapel at Nazareth House, which I'm very, very pleased to have the opportunity of photographing and videoing for you. So, yeah. All right, guys, so just outside of the chapel now. I'm gonna have a look around here. I'm not sure what this is, donations maybe? Yeah, donations box. Prior to St. Anthony. Very interesting. I've got toilets at last. Ha! The can of Cronenberg in there. And it's not too bad, it's not the worst and it's not smashed, so fair enough. This area is locked off for some reason. It's got lots of bite locks across it. This one's staff only. So. Oh, maybe it's a staff only bathroom. Yeah, that makes sense. It's gonna be pretty much the same. It smells like condoms. And we've got this way here. What's through here? Can we go through here? Yeah, we can. Oh, there's a little office area. Admin. 
There's so many rooms in here, guys. I keep hearing like little uh, alarm sounds. No, we can't go in that one. Office. We've got a little kitchen. Uh, room five, which is, what is room five? Room five is locks. Room four. And this goes through to, where does this go through to? Oh, I think that's to the front. So, hygiene rating, which is on 21st of December, 2018. This would be a front desk. Taxi service. <laughs> and then we go around this way. We've got more toilets. More toilets. A bit that says private with a cloth around it. Oh, it leads to stairs. Okay, so. I'll do stairs another day, I think. And that leads back round to the front. Okay, I'll stay on the ground floor. Okay, I've got a lift. Uh, danger high voltage again, so this will probably be more electrical contacts. Yeah. Fault buzzer, power faults. Fuses, there's quite a lot in there. Um, yeah, we'll leave that alone. It's, uh, it's interesting to look at, but I don't know what any of it is. There we go, so that was that room, that was number 25. We've got an intercall, intercom. Yeah, guys, so. That's this area. Right, I'm gonna come out of here now. If I can. Mm. There we go, it's that one. There we go. So, Chapel, St. Joseph's, Marie Stella. So, toilet, danger. And this comes out to, I think this is the other side of where I looked through before. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, that just made me jump. <laughs> I was not expecting to see that thing there. Damn. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's cool. There's a nice fireplace in there. Wow, can we get to that bit? And this is to the stairs again. I didn't go through there though, did I? That goes through to this bit. Cobweb. So this is stairs. It goes up here. Okay, so we're not doing the stairs today. Uh, I'll see if I can get to that fireplace area. Tell you what guys, it's confusing. You can easily get lost in here. Did I come through this way already? Man, now I'm confused. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's the back of the kitchen. Okay. So this is this way.
up short. All right, let's take a chance and see if we can get to it from this way. There we go, look at that. There's the uh, fireplace I wanted to see. Get a photo of this. Oh, does this go back where we've come? Oh, there's, there's that little puppet. That was that thing that scared me. <laughs> right, can I get back out this way? Not here. So, this way, and then this way, okay, uh, where am I going? Through here. Oh, can't go through this way. Okay, wrong turn. Maybe can't go through that way. Can I go through this way? here that is the back of the kitchen okay so I think this is most of the ground floor in this area be careful of this water can we get out here this is what area is this oh wow there's the lift So I don't think I've been this way. Uh, where the hell am I? 18. You can't go in this one. Kitchen, another kitchen. Honestly, guys, I'm a bit lost at the moment, so I'm not too sure where I'm going from here. Um, not that way. Not that way. Where I've just come from. Oh, blimey, I'm not sure where I'm going. How do I get out? Uh... No, it's definitely not this way. Try and retrace my steps. Right, we'll come back through this way. This is for the water. So I know I've definitely been this way. Uh, which way am I going? Maybe I'll go towards the dryness this time. 
Oh no, I can't go this way. All right, no worries. Uh, maybe it's back this way, okay. I've got to go back this way. Oh no, I'm back here. I didn't come this way. Shit. Oh, it's all good fun, I guess, but I'm not sure really where I'm going. Right, that little puppet was in front of me, definitely, because I walked towards that. So, I've got to go back this way. Did I go through there? That's got cloth on the door. I was in there though, shit. Uh, but did we walk into that area? Oh, there we go. This is the back of the chapel, so that's good news. We're going back the right way, I think. And this should, hopefully, take me into a familiar area. Oh no, actually, I'm not sure. So it's beeping away. Maybe I'm not able to see it the right way. Oh. Uh. And there it is. Well, that guy, I've managed to get back out. Um, it's absolutely chucking it down right now, so I'm not going to hang around. He's come back. Meow. Hello, mate. Meow. You're wet in the rain, aren't you? Yeah, you need somewhere dry to be. Meow. 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 Bless him. Bye, right, guys. That was a good explore. Uh, stay tuned. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and I'll bring you more content as soon as possible. Martin out.